Uh, good morning and uh, happy Sabbath, uh, dear viewer, uh, joining us today. Uh, we are glad to, to be having you uh, here today and uh, we are studying our 13th lesson, uh, the book of Psalms. Uh, we have been studying for the past 13 weeks now, uh, wait on the Lord. Uh, what, what a message uh, to finish uh, the book of Psalms uh, after we have had an assurance uh, that the Lord reigns. Mm -hmm. uh, after we have learned how to pray, mm -hmm. after we have learned how to read the Psalms, mm -hmm. after we have been assured that He is with us in our past history, mm -hmm. and uh, that, that there is wisdom for righteous living mm -hmm. in the Bible, mm -hmm. uh, as after we have learned about uh, being a man after God's own heart, mm -hmm. yeah, from the testimony of David. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we have longed for, for this Zion, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, as we learned and that we, we, we also covered the, the fact that there is, there is this worship that never ends last week. Mm -hmm. And now today, uh, after learning all these messages, mm -hmm. uh, and I believe that we are all revived mm -hmm. and, and, and we, are, we have had an experience with the Lord. Mm -hmm. and now we are waiting mm -hmm. upon the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even as we complete this, uh, uh, this, this lesson, mm -hmm. uh, this is our... This is our, our, our closing scene. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, where we are parting ways, mm -hmm. waiting upon the Lord. Mm -hmm. My name is Lamek mm -hmm. Nyamora Momany, and I will be playing host uh, uh, this Sabbath. I will allow my brother uh, to go first, and then uh, uh, my sister will finish the introduction. Uh, happy Sabbath, dear viewer. My name is Wilson Odiambo, and uh, what has stood for me throughout the lesson, the psalm, is... Uh, uh, how the Psalms is used as a way to communicate to God, you know, mm -hmm. and you communicate what you want, how you feel. It's 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 an open open communication without uh, uh, without, without concealing. Let me say use that word. Amen. Concealing Amen. anything. Yeah. And it's it's a way to be vulnerable to the Father. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're just free. Yeah, you're just free. You're just free in your in the presence of the Lord. Yeah, man. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that today we are going to be learning about uh, mm -hmm. the faith of a child. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. And and that is what you have been studying in the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, my sister. Please proceed. So, um, happy Sabbath, dear viewer, and welcome again as we wind uh, this quarter's lesson. And, uh, you know, when uh, we first heard uh, the book of Psalms, when, we, when it was coming to us and that we we're going to use it to study uh, throughout the quarter, uh, you know, we have for quite some time and maybe for other people out there, they have always looked at the book of Psalms. I mean, it's just for hymns and maybe for singing. Mm -hmm. But as we have learned all throughout, there are various insights that we have taken from the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has taught us many things, many things, sorry. And uh, it has also, uh, we, we have learned many lessons from the book of Psalms. And it, it has ta taught us and also reminded us mm -hmm. how to live with our creator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, those are very uh, good reflections, uh, really, from uh, the study. Mm -hmm. I don't know what... Uh, you stood out for you, uh, 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 dear viewer. Mm -hmm. uh, you can probably uh, type on the chat box what has stood out for you uh, from the book of Psalms. I remember when you were starting this book, there are not many who believed that we could go through, mm -hmm. that we could actually ever study the book of Psalms. It, yeah. is, it was one of the difficult uh, mm -hmm. books to study, mm -hmm. but we have seen that it is actually a very rich book. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and we see that um, there is an expression that we see uh, in Psalms. Mm -hmm. And even today we can write our own Psalms. Mm -hmm. But now before we dive into this week's lesson, which is even more glorious, mm -hmm. uh, which is supposed to now uh, uh, fortress everything that we have been studying, mm -hmm. I would like to invite Willis mm -hmm. uh, if you could pray with us before mm -hmm. we dive into today's study. Let's uh, humble word of prayer. Oh Father, Liz, in heaven we come to you this particular moment, oh God, we thank you for uh, walking with us through as we have been studying from the book of Psalms, as you are going now to wrap it up, Father, that we wait upon you, Father. I pray that you may come down and speak through us, Father, and that we may have a conversation that will uplift somebody has heart, Father, for in Jesus' name and believe. Amen. 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 Wait upon the Lord. Amen. Can we read from the book of Psalms, chapter 27, verse 14? Mm -hmm. Claire, if you may, you can help us read. Uh, Psalms 27, 14, the Bible says, uh -huh. uh, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Um, 
you know waiting waiting mm. waiting is a is 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 something that we cannot do without mm. as human beings mm. and 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 really the entire human experience is all about waiting yeah, yeah, true, right? uh, there is actually somebody who says that success is all about preparation mm. Mm. We go to nursery school to prepare for primary school. Mm. We go to primary school to prepare for secondary school. Mm-hmm. We go to secondary school to prepare for university. Yeah. University to prepare for the well, job like. market. <laughs> it's always about preparation. Sure. Yeah. You get married to prepare to have kids. Mm-hmm. You pre- you have kids, you are preparing them. You prepare for certain responsibilities. Mm-hmm. It's, always a, it's always a cycle of preparation. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have been placed in this world to actually prepare for eternity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm and uh and 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 we see that uh when 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 Adam and Eve were chased from the garden of eden mm-hmm. or when they were barred from accessing the garden of eden mm-hmm. uh they were actually cherubims who were placed there was a flaming sword that was mm-hmm. placed mm-hmm. and uh they were not supposed to be seen there mm-hmm. but we see when in the close of history mm-hmm. we see that the bible says uh the spirit and the bride say come mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. and we see that there is, there is actually an end mm-hmm. uh, to this uh, probation mm-hmm. that we are going through, mm. and so um, I don't know, Willis. Maybe you can uh, start us off. Mm. Uh, this call of waiting, mm. yeah, this mm. call of waiting. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, what is it all about, and and what can we uh, learn for us as Christians yeah. in our walk uh, to towards towards uh, eternity? Yeah, thank you, thank you, Lamek, for for the wonderful introduction. You know, the waiting waiting is not an idle an idle. I, idol an idol moment as we may uh, see it mm-hmm. because uh, from the introduction if i can get us back uh, the the first uh, the the second paragraph the lesson writer states that waiting on the lord is not an idol mm-hmm. and desperate biding of one's time mm-hmm. instead waiting on the lord is an heart full of trust and faith mm-hmm. at, 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 at a, a trust and faith revealed on in action. In action. Waiting mm-hmm. on the Lord transforms our gloomy evenings mm-hmm. with the expectation of the bright morning. Mm. So you know, waiting on the Lord gives us a the, the, the this joyous moment that there is something good we are waiting for. It's not an idle moment, a gloomy. I, I, I love the the writer's rightful use of words. A gloomy moment mm. or, or an evening, a dark, but it's it's a bright br- uh, sorry a bright thing mm. that you are waiting for a moment. Mm. And now the, the call of waiting. Mm. We have read, read the, the the key text from Psalms twenty seven verse fourteen, which says that wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, mm-hmm. and it shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the mm-hmm. Lord. If, if uh, Lamek, you may read from from the book of Psalms thirty seven, verse seven, and uh, we 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 see what does this this text implore God's people to do while waiting. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Yeah, yeah. Psalms chapter thirty seven, verse seven. Mm-hmm. Rest in the Lord Amen. and wait patiently for Him. Mm-hmm. Do not fret because of Him who prospers in His way, mm-hmm. because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait on the Lord. You know the notion of wait on the Lord is found not only in the Psalms but uh, abounds all through the Bible. Mm-hmm. There, are, there are moments mm-hmm. where the the prophets, the the heroes of faith, had to wait for mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. And the operative word in this is. Perseverance. Perseverance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then what is perseverance? Perseverance is our supreme commitment of refusing to succumb to fear of disappointment. Mm-hmm. That that somehow God will not come through for us. Mm. And God's devoted children waits knowing with no waits knowing with certainty that God is faithful. And those who wait on him can trust that if we leave uh we, we leave our situation to him, we can be sure that he will work it out for our best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even it even if at uh, uh the time we don't necessarily see it in our way, but he will come through. Mm-hmm. So you know, the call of waiting first of all we have to to have a heart of perseverance mm-hmm. and the have a heart of uh trusting that there's a God in heaven, you mm-hmm. know, uh, because the uh, the, the heroes of faith in Hebrews 11, they pleased God because they, they believe that God is who? Mm. God is God. A call is made. And if you read the book of Romans 8, 19, it says this, this way, for the, me, for the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. Mm. Mm. You know, and there are promises there. Then what is the promise? Yet while we are waiting for the ultimate salvation and renewal with God, even as the whole creation groans and labors in bath banks, the door still abides in his peoples now. 
to the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Lord still abides through his people through the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. And waiting on the Lord doesn't mean that uh, when we wait for this period, then the Lord is not there with us. And if you want to really claim these promises in the book of Psalms mm-hmm. and have that uh, intimate relationship with God, then we have to have a waiting that is not idle. Mm-hmm. Waiting that is always uh, a, a wait that... Uh, is is working you know mm. a witch that is always seeking to know this god you, mm. you know there's a there's somewhere where we learned that we should have a heart that is seeking to know god there's a there's a psalm that says in a, in a dry and weary land you know my heart is thirsty for you thirsting for you uh, amen yeah a witch that is really thirsty for the, to know this god and mm. when we have that wheat a wheat that really trust that god will take care of everything mm-hmm. that then i know that we are in the right track you know and uh, a question is is posted here what are some things that we you, we are waiting for now from god and how do we learn to wait in faith and trust especially when what we are praying for hasn't come yet yeah mm-hmm. you know i'm i'm thinking about um, um for us as an adventist the adventist church mm-hmm. we are actually uh this uh issue of waiting mm-hmm. is even at, at our our name itself mm. our name itself mm. is that we are waiting for the second ad, for yeah, the second coming, coming of christ, of christ. Mm-hmm. um like the first the first disciples they were waiting for the the, the jews then mm-hmm. they were waiting for the first advent mm-hmm. and now we are we are waiting for the second the second mm-hmm. coming of christ mm-hmm. and we see in our history mm-hmm. we had a period of the great disappointment mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh which 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 really marks our story mm-hmm. uh which is a is a beacon mm. of of what we believe mm-hmm. um uh, and 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 uh, sometimes you can be waiting mm. and 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 like the the, the question poses mm. uh it delays mm mm-hmm. or uh, things don't go as as you may have hoped for like you uh, mentioned like mm. king Saul mm. uh, decided to go and do the sacrifice by himself mm-hmm. decided to surpass the role of the of the prophets mm-hmm. uh, and but what we what we learn mm-hmm. is that uh, unlike you can be waiting for a bus mm-hmm. but it may never arrive mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it can get an accident it can break down mm. uh you can be waiting to get a job mm. but you may never get that reply mm-hmm. but god is never late mm-hmm. we learn from the story of lazarus mm-hmm. there is actually a song that has been written after it mm. that he, even if he is late he is just in time mm-hmm. yeah, man. he is always in time mm-hmm. and so um for us it is to have this firm faith and trust mm. and to not allow any uh because you, you uh, and i like using the example of the garden of eden mm-hmm. uh the ground was cast to have thorns and these tools mm. and, uh, and 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 the 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 call to till the land mm-hmm. increased mm. after sin yeah, of man. course they were supposed to till the land mm-hmm. you, you know devotion uh you know in a spiritual sense mm. uh you know um uh, nurturing your faith Mm-hmm. is something that has always been there mm-hmm. that you need to work on it constantly so that it can continue to prosper mm-hmm. you need to continue watering these flowers mm-hmm. so that they can continue blooming but now after sin if you there is this proverb i um, i don't know but in english it is called the a rolling stone mm-hmm. gathers no moss mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. you know it's the stone that is just there wait it's mm-hmm. just there doing mm-hmm. nothing mm-hmm. that gathers moss mm-hmm. yeah sure and so the danger of not being busy the danger of not being preoccupied with something the mm-hmm. danger of not trimming our lambs mm-hmm. you know the story of the 10 virgins yeah. Yeah. there were some who were foolish there were some who were wise mm-hmm. and we are waiting for that morning you are waiting for the bridegroom to come mm-hmm. uh, if we are not if we don't involve ourselves if we don't do those devotions mm-hmm. then the temptation might come mm-hmm. like the prodigal son to go and try and tour the world mm-hmm. yeah uh, he, he couldn't wait You know mm. the prodigal son was too impatient to wait mm. for his time of inheritance. Mm. You know he mm. rushed the process of inheritance. He uh, if we if we are not patient we'll be like uh, Peter. Mm. We may deny Christ. Mm. If we are not patient to wait for the promise. Mm-hmm. We we can betray Christ, the cause of Christ like Judas did. Mm. And so if we pre- if we occupy ourselves reminding ourselves of God's love um 
um come in here on sabbath mm-hmm. come in for fellowship mm-hmm. nurturing our talents praying with the sick being involved in evangelism mm-hmm. it ca- actually continues nurturing our faith mm-hmm. and it uproots Mm-hmm. the thorns and these tools mm-hmm. that may have come up like it is said in the parable of the sower. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um perhaps I want to add uh, on uh, when the book of uh, Lamentations 3:26 where the Bible states that it is good that he waits silently mm-hmm. for the salvation of the Lord and that uh, as people work day and night mm-hmm. for the master as they labor for the master they will grow weary and tired mm-hmm. but there's an assurance from the Lord when he says in Matthew that come unto me yeah with all your burdens and I will give you rest so as people labor for the master and as they we are urged that even our, in our daily to daily activities and even as we carry on with this life as we wait upon the lord that the lord asks us let us not die with our burdens mm. that let us not grow weary mm. in this act of waiting for him but rather mm-hmm. let us take our burdens to him and we will be relieved mm-hmm. and in that way we will be able to mm-hmm. keep on waiting for the lord mm-hmm. yeah amen Amen. Uh, yeah, th- thank you guys. I I I I I like how what uh, you have said uh, more so about waiting. You know, we are waiting for the salvation. Mm-hmm. Second Christ coming and mm-hmm. the last paragraph of the lesson there is a, a certain right up here. You know, we are called to bear witness. Mm-hmm. And if you read from the book of Acts 1, 4 to 8, uh, let me go there so fast. It, it says that and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father which saith he, ye have heard of me. For, for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days here. So he told them to wait. Mm. Wait for me here in Jerusalem. Mm. And I will wait for me in Jerusalem and do not depart from you, but wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, and ye have heard for me. Mm. And, and as you continue to, to, to the plan of salvation, which will culminate in a new creation. That, that the new creation is ultimately what we are waiting for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The final judgment of our hopes is Adventist Christians, whose very name Adventist contains the idea of Advent of 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 the hope that we we await. Mm. We wait, but we know that is not in vain. Mm-hmm. Amen. It's not Christ, in vain. Hey, Amen. Christ's death and resurrection of the first coming is our uh, is our surety of his second coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are waiting for his second coming. But yeah. you know the wait is not in vain. But also he is, is, uh, he used a, a proverb of a rolling stone mm. and. Let's not be like like a stack a stack a, I mean, a stack stone, a stack yeah. stone mm. you know, mm. a stack stone waiting for the Lord's salvation. The the, the molds will start growing in us, mm. and I, maybe we may not get where you what you are waiting. Yeah, insecurities, and your fears, your fears, mm. the you circumstances know. of life. Mm-hmm. 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 And that there always comes the notion now that you know Christ has it's been long. Our mm. forefathers said he's coming, mm. and. Uh, my dad said he's coming. Mm. I'm, I will grow old. I start telling my kids, no, Christ is coming. Mm. But this weight is not in vain. Mm. This amen. weight is not in vain. Amen. Amen. Yeah. amen. 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 We indeed have no fear. Amen. Except mm. as we should forget uh, how, the, the, Lord how the Lord has led us amen. and his teaching of our past history. Mm. Just the fact that he came for the first time. Amen. Uh, that is enough. That amen. is the assurance that amen. he will indeed come for the second time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so even though we may de- be disappointed the, the other the other sabbath mm. uh, we were uh, studying about the story of david mm-hmm. he was anointed but had to wait for 15 years mm-hmm. and he actually spent it in a cave mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we saw that he actually even had a time to uh, you know do a shortcut mm-hmm. uh, to to become a king quickly mm-hmm. uh, by even uh, killing Saul mm-hmm. but he didn't mm-hmm. you know that just gives us uh, the, the beauty of waiting. And mm-hmm. in the fullness of time, we saw that he just transitioned. Mm-hmm. He didn't have to fight. Mm-hmm. He didn't have to do anything, but God was preparing him Amen. in that period of waiting. Mm. Uh, so, um, my friend, my friend who is joining us today, mm. uh, while you are waiting, mm-hmm. allow the Lord, allow the Lord to prepare you Amen. for the blessings that await you ahead. Amen. Uh, and as you wait, uh, we are learning from the book of Psalms, mm-hmm. uh, chapter 131. The yeah. entire book uh, of Psalms, chapter 131. David was, a, was an interesting man. Mm-hmm. Um, he is somebody who, we can say, did a lot of experiments mm-hmm. in life that we, um, like it is written in Hebrews, as an example for us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
we 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 look at him and we uh, we just see ourselves mm-hmm. how we try to experiment mm-hmm. yeah and so david had tried everything mm-hmm. and the interesting thing uh, that that we learn mm-hmm. is that the more in this world the more we try to understand things the more it gets complicated mm-hmm. have you have you ever <laughs> gotten to understand that that mm-hmm. when you want to try and understand uh, can 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 the sun come up at midnight mm-hmm. you know why mm-hmm. da- why can't it happen mm-hmm. uh, have we been living for 1 million years mm-hmm. or should we just take it literally that we have been here for less than 6000 mm-hmm. years so what how, how are we supposed to cooperate really mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Uh, and 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 david comes here he resigns mm-hmm. and he says that i will no longer cons- uh, disturb myself mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i will just hope in the lord mm-hmm. i will just I, i'm now come I have quoted my soul and like a wind child with his mother mm. like a wind child is my soul with mm-hmm. me within mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. and he, he encourages israelites to mm-hmm. hope in the lord mm-hmm. christ comes uh, later in matthew chapter 18 verse 3 and repeats the same thing he says that assuredly i say unto you unless you are converted and become as little children mm. you will be by no means mm. enter the kingdom of heaven mm-hmm. you know I read this and I just think of uh, Lucifer. Mm. You no, know, Lucifer started his apostasy in in heaven. Mm-hmm. The first thing he considered himself an adult. <laughs> That was the first step. Mm-hmm. He was uh, in the in the sense of today's term, he mm-hmm. was self-reliant. Amen. He was self-righteous. Mm-hmm. He was ambitious. Mm-hmm. You know? You know that is what comes uh, as young people or when when you are now a young person that is when now you, you don't want to listen to mentors you don't want to to listen to your guardians or your parents they old school yeah you want to be independent mm-hmm. you can do it you can do it by yourself mm-hmm. yeah uh, that that is the spirit that 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 david is against mm-hmm. and uh, and that's why it's very difficult he, uh, uh, christ says mm-hmm. for a rich man mm-hmm. uh, to enter the kingdom of heaven than it is for a camel to enter through uh, mm-hmm. the the eye of a needle mm-hmm. and being rich you know the laudation church mm-hmm. you know i'm I, i i i am in need of nothing and so i uh, i just like to 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 ask my dear friends who are joining us online mm-hmm. um and here in church today are we continue are we co- going to continue like the laudation church to consider ourselves rich you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. You know when you when the term rich comes with capability mm-hmm. it comes mm-hmm. with self sufficiency mm-hmm. it comes with self reliance mm-hmm. it comes with um, i was watching um uh, there was a nigerian uh, businessman who recently passed away mm-hmm. and uh, one of his friends uh, actually a very wealthy man in mm-hmm. this continent mm-hmm. was uh, giving an uh, was giving a speech mm-hmm. in remembrance of him mm-hmm. and um uh, and is a wealthy person uh, the kind of people who the kind of person who can solve any kind of problem mm. yeah and so the first statement that he made that really interested me willis mm-hmm. he said that i am so frustrated <laughs> that there is nothing i could do to stop this mm-hmm. food for thought <laughs> we can we can proceed mm-hmm. with uh, any any reflection that you may have mm. uh, He, the, the, if i may had something the, the the piece of a wind child you know mm. the winding process uh, so in the lesson the third uh, the third paragraph uh, you know psalms 121 verse 2 says like a wind child with its mother you know it's it's a, it's a powerful me- image of one, of one who finds calmness and co- uh, who is quite equated in the presence of god mm. it points to the la- loving relationship of a child with a child and a mother at various stages you know in the, in a child's life the, the, the stage where the child will will only take the, the the milk from the mother then some food which is not solid food then mm. you know that and that's uh, how how our faith is like mm. it, it's a process it's a process you know the the through winning us from in a in, in substantial ambitions and pride god introduce introduces us to the nourishment of solid food mm. uh which is to do with the uh which is to do the will of him that sent sent us that's john 
Mm. The, the childlike trust depicted in Psalms 131 is mature faith that has been tried and tested by the hardship of life mm. and has found God to be faithful and true to his word. And they, that it's an addition to what you've said about pride mm. and all these things where we, we say that uh, uh, everything I have is, is mm. from me, but we don't know that it's a process, you know. Mm. God has been with us mm. step by step. Uh, Ellen White in Sons and Daughters of God, uh, page 330, reminds us that uh, having been weaned, mm. then it means we are grown. Mm. That we're not to remain in the same state that we Amen. have been. Amen. That we need to, I mean, take a step. Mm. We, have, we are now from milk to solid food. Mm. We are not to remain the same. We are to go and we are to carry ourselves mm -hmm. as having been weaned. So therefore, from self-ambitiousness, from our pride, we are now to acknowledge and sit back and, wa and wait on the Lord, really, mm -hmm. and say that, ah, truly, he's God, and depend on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. And what does bringing in the sheaves mm -hmm. have to do with waiting mm -hmm. on the Lord? Mm -hmm. So uh, that is entirely on Psalm 126. Mm -hmm. And I would love somebody to read so that we can see the strength mm -hmm. and hope that is there mm -hmm. in waiting mm -hmm. for the Lord. Amen. Psalm chapter 1 verse 26. Mm -hmm. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Mm -hmm. A song of the ascents, a joyful return to Zion. Mm -hmm. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. And then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad. Mm -hmm. Bring back our captivity, O Lord, mm -hmm. as the streams in the south. Mm -hmm. Those who sow in tears shall reap mm -hmm. in joy. Mm -hmm. He who continually goes forth weeping, mm -hmm. bearing seed for sowing, mm -hmm. shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. So uh, five and six, really, they talk about uh, waiting on the Lord. But before that, uh, this is a psalm of uh, returning from captivity and people testifying of what the Lord has had done for them. And first of all, they could not believe it, yeah, because unto them it was like a dream. How could it be? I mean, they are dreaming. It's something that they had waited so mm. for so long. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, the little writer really emphasizes that uh, the Lord's miraculous deliverances from the past, yeah, they are an inexhaustible source of inspiration of God's people. And they are also a source of hope mm -hmm. for the future that... Um, when the Israelites had really waited the Lord for so long to be um, brought from captivity, and it came to true, yeah? The prophets had told them in the days of past, but it really came to happen in the future, that mm. the Lord really came for them. And this is a reminder that the Lord will come through, mm. yeah? However long it takes, we are asked to wait patiently mm. on the Lord, yeah? Mm. Trust in Him, trust in the process. So, um that they passed joy and relief, and they are relieved through songs and appropriated in their present experience. So the past generations, yeah, they count themselves to be like in the present now. Mm -hmm. We should also look at that. You know, these things, perhaps they happened in the past. God will do it again. And verse 4, when the, he says that, Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as in the streams in the south. You know, this was like, Restore us, O oh Lord. Mm. Yeah, that uh, having, 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 you know, this, uh, when I was reading a commentary about uh, verse 4, when it says that uh, streams in the south, that the south was really dry. And the, when the times that the south could have water was when it had rained, when there was flood. Mm -hmm. And our lesson writer really says that, uh, you know, the streams, were formed and suddenly filled. This was after the floods or after the rains. That is when they could flow water. That's when they could stream. I mean, the, when that's when the streams could have water because the mm. south was very dry. It it was a desert. 
Yeah, so the streams were formed and suddenly filled with rushing waters mm -hmm. after heavy rainfalls during the rainy season. And that the early and late rains, they played a crucial role in the success of the agricultural year. That, that is when people could sow and they wait for the reaping. That um, after, you know, after the rains now had come, after people had planted, they could sow after mm. a while. And then in the, in the end season, that's when people could have joy. That's when now the sheaves come in. So the process of waiting, waiting for the rains, getting mm -hmm. the rains, planting, waiting for a season for all these crops to grow so that you could have produce. Yeah, it, it's, it's really a season. And it's a season of going planting, you wait. You know, sometimes you till the land, you chill a bit, mm. you wait for the rains, yeah? They come, you plant, mm. and then your crops will grow. It does not mean when they have grown, mm -hmm. that's when you'll have produce. You mm. really have to mm. wait for them to mature so that you could get the harvest. Mm. And after you've harvested, that's when you have your sheaves together. So, um... The end of the season was the time when the ancient Hebrew pilgrimages brought the fruit of season to God's temple in Jerusalem. We find that from Exodus 34, 22 to 26, mm. that uh, now during that time is when now people could mm -hmm. take to the Lord what they have. We as uh, uh, Christians, yeah, as we go out and labor for the masters, we go out there and labor hard. There's an assurance that there will be joy when there'll be harvest. And you, you, you see where, when the uh, Israelites, after the harvest is when they could take back to the Lord. So in that after also we have labored, after we have taken our message out to the world, people will come to Christ and people will be saved. So this image of great harvest points to God's restoration of his kingdom on earth on his second coming. And that we can get it from Amos 9, 13 to 15. So somebody can read that. Amos chapter 9, verse 13 to 15. Yeah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, mm -hmm. when the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the, tr the trader of grapes him that sows seed. The mountain shall drip with sweet wine and all the hills shall flow with it. I will bring back the captives of my people Israel. Mm -hmm. They shall build the west cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink wine from them. Mm -hmm. They shall make gardens and eat fruit from them. Mm -hmm. I will plant them in their land, mm -hmm. and no longer shall they be pulled up from the land I have given them, says mm -hmm. the Lord your mm -hmm. God. Amen. So you, you could really see the aspect of waiting, mm -hmm. of, of preparation. And the end time they reap, when he says that they will even inherit the land. When they plow the field, they will get the fruit and they will, they will eat them. So mm -hmm. that's the aspect of waiting, mm -hmm. of waiting for the harvest at the end time, that of laboring for the master. At the end time, we will see mm -hmm. all the fruits of the labor that we have done. So mm -hmm. that's the aspect really of waiting, waiting for Christ, laboring for him and knowing that whichever that we labor mm. in the end time, yeah, in God's restoration, when he comes on his second coming, we'll see the fruits mm. of the labor that we have had. Amen. Yeah. The, the, the theme here of waiting is being being brought so clearly because it's it, 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 there's somewhere where the lesson writer said that the harvest motif pro provided provides a potent spiritual lesson to the people at this time. Just as they had labor of, sow, of, of sowing and caring for the field uh, and the orchards and the vineyards rewarded the job of, of the plentiful harvest, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the present trial of God's people will be crowned by the job of salvation at the end of the time. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The, the, Joy comes mm -hmm. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Joy comes in the morning. We'll also see that it later. Mm -hmm. uh, everything that we will pass through. You know, it's it's so hard. Most of the young people, <laughs> it's mm. so hard. The trials, mm. you know, it's it's not easy. We keep forgetting. There's a song which says that the Lord remind me, mm. remind me, because mm. as a human, I forget mm. the struggles that. We, there's even a song, you know, the song that even the angels will not. Yeah, they mm. cannot join in that. They song. cannot join the song. Mm. Then mm. there's an hope that regardless of this, the 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 harvest is coming. Mm. When the, the joy of salvation will come, the joy that is coming in the mm. morning, Amen. then we have no reason to fear, my dear listener. We have no reason to fear this hope that joy Amen. is coming in the morning. Let's just wait. Let's Amen. just tarry a little bit. The harvest is coming. Amen. Amen. Amen.
when the Lord blesses us in this life, he requires that we take something to his storehouse. That is when that is how we get blessed and that is an act to show our faith and trust in the Lord that the Lord will provide even in the future as he did it and when you tithe it, you believe that even next time surely the Lord will provide and surely I'll take to him what I have. So it's it's a means of showing that uh as even in the Ten, the 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 men who are given talents, yeah, in Matthew, yeah, some improved, someone did not, and that was taken away from him. So let's be careful, even as present day Christians, whatever that we have, let's improve it, and it brings in the aspect of really even working and laboring, so that you get more and take, so that you could take more even to the house of the Lord. So improve on what you have, labor hard, that the Lord will bless you with a. Uh, Good harvest. And it is good harvest. You will take, uh, even in his storehouse now, there will be good harvest, really. So it will re reciprocate that when you have given to the Lord, he will bless you even more and you will take to his house. So Christians, uh, let us be again reminded to give tithe and offering in the house Amen. of the Lord. Amen. 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 It's an expression of faith and trust. Mm -hmm. Don't you think, uh, Willis? Yeah, yeah, no, no, we, we, the, 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 the something I was heard from from someone that, you know, when we give tithe, mm. we, we, we recognize that God is, is God. Mm. Mm. Then he's when in control. He's in control. Then when we give our offerings, then we now see that God is good. Mm. You know, all this that we have is, is yeah. comes from him. And, mm. and uh, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an expression as of faith, an expression of being grateful mm -hmm. uh, to the creator. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 And I think it's just universal. Whether it's even your health, mm -hmm. when you're in, the, in your youth, Supposed mm. to be bringing in the sheaves of your energy, mm. your youthful energy, mm. to the service of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your talent, as you continue improving it, mm -hmm. supposed to bring it back mm. uh, that it may be used to advance uh, the Lord's cause. Mm. Mm. Because just, joy, joy is coming in the morning. Joy, mm. joy comes in the morning. <laughs> amen, amen. Now, um, for years past, um, the Lord created the earth in six days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and 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 you know if, even as as Christians we bring our tithe we bring in the sheaves mm -hmm. on Sabbath mm -hmm. and so um, uh, we come with our Sabbath offering yeah mm -hmm. uh, but there is something interesting that we learn from from there are two things there mm -hmm. are two things really mm -hmm. or maybe three you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, or let's place it as two mm -hmm. creation and redemption mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for the six days, God, the Lord created the, the whole world. Uh -huh. And the six days, you have been called to labor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, one thing mm -hmm. happened on Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Rest. Mm -hmm. Rest. Uh, and, and he sanctified it, mm -hmm. we read. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord sanctified the day that is Sabbath. Wilson, would you mind reading us, uh, if you may, please read to us Ezekiel mm -hmm. chapter 20, verse 20. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 20. Uh, the Bible records, keep my Sabbath days holy. For they are a sign to remind you that I am the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You know, um, uh, there is a hymn that I like that mm -hmm. says that this is an emblem mm -hmm. of eternal rest. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so for us, as we, as, at least as I see it, mm -hmm. uh, and in my interaction with mm -hmm. uh, uh, the lesson, mm -hmm. uh, is that Sabbath, Sabbath is, is as we toil for the six days. Mm hmm and you know toil is is a sign of sin as well because yeah. as we deal with the these tolls as we True. deal with the curses of sin mm -hmm. it's so difficult mm -hmm. to uh, get past through uh, the week mm -hmm. but when it's now friday your mind now starts shutting off around 3 p.m mm -hmm. sure <laughs> and now you rest mm -hmm. it's it's it it gives us hope mm -hmm. it 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 has a place in our waiting the sabbath has a place in our waiting mm -hmm. in that it constantly reminds us mm -hmm. That there will come, there will come a time that we'll have total victory mm -hmm. over sin. Mm -hmm. There will come a time when we'll have time to dwell with with Jesus, mm -hmm. and we'll not think about anything else. Mm -hmm. And so, um, it is, it 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 places God with such certain supremacy mm -hmm. over our enemies, supremacy over over everything, mm -hmm. over everything really. He is supreme over your employer. Mm. Supreme over your business, mm -hmm. supreme over your family, mm -hmm. that you, you are now giving him time. Mm -hmm. You are now giving him time. I don't know what comes to mind, uh, 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 Claire, 
when you when you hear the sabbath uh in as far as waiting is concerned rest mm-hmm. you know when it's sabbath it's rest and personally and for many people you know for adventists especially when we really wait for the sabbath to rest and personally i do because that's when i get renewal with my master mm-hmm. that's when i get to reflect upon his word mm-hmm. yeah it's when i get to meditate on what he requires of me and learn of him yeah it's on the sabbath that we get that and this day that is set aside when ezekiel uh says when we quote and quote when we also read about uh, 2012 that uh the sabbath day is uh, sanctified that it's a covenant between god and in, on, and his people that on the sabbath day they will get to rest and they will get to honor him so sabbath day it's about a uh, renewal of our minds ready for the following week ready for to go and labor for the master it's a day that our uh, christians will sit back and reflect and meditate on god's mm. word and when 92:10 uh, of psalms says that but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn that and I, i shall be anointed with fresh oil so psalm 92 really is a psalm of or a song of the sabbath day and when the psalmist talks about being anointed with fresh oil it's really about renewal fresh oil it's about renewal so on the sabbath day it's when uh, god's people sit back they reflect they meditate upon his words they get to renew their mind it's the day that they get to be uh they get to be anointed they get fresh anointing from god ready to go and labor again for the other week amen yeah. amen, amen, amen 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 and there will be a time that will not be need to be refreshed mm. Mm. there is an eternity that is coming mm-hmm. there is a, there is a glorious appearing of our lord that we look forward to mm-hmm. uh and really uh, you can imagine mm-hmm. you can really imagine if we were living on this world mm-hmm. as a fallen creation living in a fallen world mm-hmm. without hope mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and so or we will be just be working mm-hmm. we we'll just be working for eternity mm-hmm. and i think that's why god god was so merciful is so loving mm-hmm. Uh, when i was a child i didn't really understand why adam and eve were chased out of the garden of eden mm-hmm. but when i became of age i appreciated mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know living in the effects of sin forever mm-hmm. and so i think it's it, it was an act of mercy mm-hmm. for us to be put aside have a moment of probation to prepare ourselves for now an eternity mm-hmm. when there will be no interruption Amen. and so it is a matter of uh, reflection as as claire said mm-hmm. number one, how the lord has led us in our past creation. Number two, his present sustaining. Mm. As we live in this world today, yeah. we get to reflect about that. Mm-hmm. Number three, mm. we get to point ourselves mm-hmm. to the end time. Mm-hmm. To an eternity that is coming mm-hmm. and an eternal divine uh, and a government of 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 peace and order mm-hmm. that that comes mm-hmm. um with 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 an everlasting assurance mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so maybe will is maybe mm-hmm. now to to mm-hmm. to 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 close off uh, mm-hmm. this lesson that we have been traveling through mm-hmm. from we started now mm-hmm. um is there an end to mm-hmm. all this yeah. as we wait mm-hmm. as we now wait lord mm-hmm. uh, as as we are waiting mm-hmm. are we going to be waiting forever or there is something Mm-hmm. great that comes yeah interesting interesting will morning come mm-hmm. and and how does it look like the joy that Please comes in the morning yeah mm-hmm. uh, you know the the wait is it, it's not a wait which is high dole as we, we we were introducing but it's a wait full of joy mm-hmm. and uh it's not very a wait which is gloomy mm-hmm. uh because the sabbath is there as my sister claire read from psalms 92:10 there's mm-hmm. something about the the holy oil mm-hmm. a refreshing moment you know the sabbath is a refreshing moment to keep us waiting mm-hmm. it's on hope because it is an entire it's it's a covenant between man and god mm. and to keep us waiting yeah mm. it's a back reflect that these are god in heaven you mm. know mm. and uh, the the morning you know morning is uh, the, the psalms are uh, as used the word morning and the, it's typically means the time when god redemption is anticipated mm-hmm. and uh, if we, we we can go quickly to psalms uh, uh 5 verse 3 Psalm 53 the bible says my mm-hmm. voice shalt thou hear in the morning mm-hmm. o lord mm-hmm. in the morning will mm-hmm. i direct my prayer mm-hmm. unto thee and i will look up 
Uh-huh. Amen. Mm. Morning reveals God's favor, mm. you know, mm. and uh, which ends the long night of despair and trouble. Mm. You know, the night uh, in the Bible, the night is, is has been used to depict trouble, mm. despair, sorrow. But morning reveals God's favor, mm. which will come at last. Uh, in Psalms 130 verse three, God's mm. deliverance will reverse the present darkness of death. Mm. And you know, death is something that you, it, it has really taken our lives once, you know. Mm. But we always say that joy is coming in the mm. morning when we we shall see our our loved ones and are unto the light of the new morning, amen. amen. And from being in the pits unto the residing in the land of uprightness. Mm. Mm. And you know, the resurrection of Christ. It's it's the morning they are speaking about. The resurrection mm-hmm. morning of Christ opened the way of the eternal morning of God's salvation to all who believed in His name. Amen. Amen. You Amen. know, Christ are, and Christ not gone, come and lived among us, asked and mm-hmm. died mm-hmm. for us. Is then we could have been into darkness till now. True. But now we are not children of darkness, but we are children of the what? Light. Of light. Of light. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which means now we we have every reason to wait. Mm. To wait for the morning mm-hmm. when Christ will come. You mm-hmm. see, you know. Uh, the, the 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 ultimate light, who is Jesus Christ, mm. says something interesting in uh, John chapter nine verse four, uh, that I must work the works of Him who sent me mm-hmm. while it is day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For night is coming night is when coming. no one can work. As long as I'm I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Yeah. Um, you know, um and and it 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 the morning uh, and the evening and the daytime, mm. all this all what this this tells us is that there is actually an end. There is actually mm. there is actually a time when it will come to an end. Mm. There will actually be a time when all this or all this despair will come to an end. Mm-hmm. And what we 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 understand mm. is that yes, you can laugh in the evening, mm. you can have artificial light mm-hmm. during the night, mm-hmm. but n- there is no light that surpasses mm. the one that comes in the morning. Mm. <laughs> sure. Uh, maybe you can succeed in your career, and mm. there can be some light. Mm. There can be some joy in uh, in 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 in. In starting a business and succeeding, mm. there can be some excitement in succeeding in your relationship or anything. Mm. Mm. But there is nothing. There is no. There is no joy that is compared to that of the morning mm. Mm. when the sun is fully bright and fair. The birds are singing. You know, mm. when I think about the morning, I think about fresh air. Mm. I think about birds singing. Mm. I think about the warm. It's not scorching like the twelfth noon. Okay. Uh, uh, the Swahili call it jewel out of sin. Mm-hmm. It's it's not scorching, mm-hmm. but it's just warm. Mm-hmm. There is just something about the morning uh, that that is quite glorious. Amen. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, it reminds me of the hymn that work for the night is coming. Mm-hmm. That Christians are urged to work during the day because there'll be a night and there'll mm. be no time to work. Mm. But now even as the, as the night passes, mm. there will come a morning mm. that comes with joy. You know, when, when morning depicts a new day, mm. it's an, a new start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When, when some, so, sometimes we just wait for another day so that we have a fresh start because it's going in eh? to share ribu. So we just wait for the new start. So joy comes in the morning. And when you have read through about uh, Christ's resurrection, that it's the morning when the women went to the grave and it's the morning they realized, ah, Christ is risen, that Christ has conquered death, that Christ has shown us that he has, there is power and he could overcome death. So it's, it's in the, it's in the morning that their countenance was like, oh, yeah, Christ indeed, he reigns. And so even even unto us um, this time, there will be joy in the morning. That's all of our troubles, that there will be an overcome for all our trials, that we will surely overcome all everything that we have gone through. So it really depicts that even as we wait, that maybe we, we are maybe in the night, yeah? And we are waiting for the moment. We are waiting for the morning, rather. That it is the morning that when all of these trials will end. That is the morning when Christ will come. That has even as he resurrected back then. That is the morning that they went, oh, Christ is that. That there will come a morning. Mm. A morning when all our sorrows will be over. A morning when Christ will come. 
Mm-hmm. Amen. You know, Christ's death on the cross and the, even his resurrection, this resurrection, you know, mm. the gospel is Christ coming, living among us, uh, walking among us, mm. and dying on the cross yeah. and resurrecting. You know, it gives us hope. This on him, uh, God shall wipe away all our tears. There's mm. to be no death and no sorrow okay. there. And the, the, the lamp will be the light of the day. The darkness will never come. Mm. The day will never end, you know. Amen. And uh, this means that the weight is worth it. Mm. Mm. This is, a, is a, an assurance that Christ, uh, Christ, after Christ died the day, the, the morning of salvation, okay. everything was open, you know. Mm. And Amen. it's an it's an assurance that this hope, mm-hmm. yeah, as we wait for the second coming of Christ, then the weight is the weight is worth it worth because it's worth it. he Amen. came. It's not in vain. Mm. It's not in vain. He came and he conquered death. Amen. Death is just a temporary sleep. Mm. It's a temporary sleep Amen. as we wait for the for the morning. Amen. 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 Mm. Actually, the book of Ecclesiastes finishes with something interesting. Just let's loop it in, because mm-hmm. now as we even conclude uh, this study that we have been having, mm-hmm. um, Ecclesiastes just put just put a finger there. Mm-hmm. Uh, rush to Ecclesiastes chapter 12 uh, should be verse 14. That is the last of us. Um, verse 12. 12 verse 13. 12 verse 13, 13 to 14. Mm, 13 to 14 says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear yeah. God and keep his commandment for this is the whole duty of man. Mm-hmm. Uh, 14 says, For God shall bring every work unto judgment mm-hmm. with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. evil. That gives me a lot of hope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For 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 somebody uh, who uh, has interacted, we, uh, we visited the prisons the other day, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, I have not seen mm-hmm. anyone go through the judicial system because he has done something good. Mm-hmm. People go to court because of bad things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Either you, it's always about something wrong. Yeah. Either somebody, there was a contract that went wrong. Mm-hmm. The, the the courts in this land have no time for good things. Mm-hmm. Even the news. Mm-hmm. which is also another court, mm-hmm. is the, a court of public opinion, mm-hmm. they usually dwell on bad news. Mm-hmm. But we are told that in heaven, mm-hmm. the court that is in heaven, mm-hmm. they are also interested in the good things. Good the things. Good things. Yeah. Uh, whether it be good or bad. Whether it be good or mm-hmm. bad, everything mm-hmm. will come to judgment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, beloved, mm-hmm. it matters to God that you kept the Sabbath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It matters to God that you returned your tithe faithfully. Mm-hmm. It matters to God that you resisted mm-hmm. fornication. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It matters to God mm-hmm. that you practice self-control in your health choices. Mm-hmm. It matters to God mm-hmm. that you did the good thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It may not matter today. Mm-hmm. Today, but. just one slip of the tongue and you mm-hmm. can be imprisoned for life. Mm-hmm. It's just one mistake and you can be, you you you, you know, mm-hmm. they won't care. Mm, they don't care. How good, mm-hmm. how good a steward you are. Mm-hmm. You just lose 10 shillings mm-hmm. in the public coffers mm-hmm. and you will be jailed like somebody who had been stealing his whole life. Mm-hmm. Then now coming back to this verse, mm-hmm. as we wait mm-hmm. upon the Lord, mm-hmm. as we're going to be studying the book Great Controversy, mm-hmm. we are learning that the wages, mm-hmm. so seeing you are working, <laughs> because you know wages are it's, it's something Your you payments. receive after working. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have served the devil mm-hmm. And then you are you are paid by death. Mm. Mm. But here we have a gift. Mm. It, you are not working. Mm. It's you have just submitted to the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. The Holy Spirit is reading you to um, to keep the commandments of God. Mm-hmm. Um, Revelation chapter fourteen verse twelve. You may not have time to to open, mm. but it says that here is the patience, patience of, of the saints. saints. Amen. Amen. Here here are they who keep the commandments of God. Amen. In this period of waiting, mm-hmm. we learn that. Uh, this patience, this perseverance, this endurance, mm. this grip mm. that uh, Jacob had on the angel, mm. this wrestle that we are having with God, mm-hmm. making sure that we are not letting go mm-hmm. of the word of God until we receive the blessing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are not uh, letting go of the precepts and the promises that have been placed until we also actually get to test them ourselves yeah. mm-hmm. or at least our generations mm-hmm. like, like, like Abraham did. Mm-hmm. We learn that it is the gift. The gift of God is eternal life mm-hmm. in Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. our Lord. And so, beloved, um, we have come to a time where now we need to uh, now start uh, getting to, as we wait on the Lord, uh, we now want to get to uh, uh, begin to study uh, the book Great Controversy. 
uh, and get to to learn mm-hmm. and reflect mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where where are we now mm-hmm. in this waiting mm-hmm. in this context of waiting where are we now mm-hmm. uh, and, and 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 what will the lord have us do mm-hmm. and so i don't know what uh, uh maybe you can give uh, you, what 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 will be what you'll be looking forward to mm-hmm. uh as we get into this lesson that is ahead of us mm-hmm. And uh, uh, really, what will be your closing, or well, your closing comment uh, from this book, Psalms? So we can have the ladies first. We started with the gentlemen. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's it's been a great experience getting to study about the Psalms, getting to see God's divine, mm-hmm. uh, his, his divine uh, reverence, uh, getting to study about His faithfulness, mm-hmm. getting to study about uh, have to have faith in our God, Jesus Christ. And the Psalms has really taught us many things. But now, and as we move uh, forward to our next uh, study, which is uh, the great controversy, let's not forget uh, what we have learned from the Psalms. Yeah? Let's not forget about the teachings, the great teachings that we have had. And let us uh, not fear to approach our God because Psalms has taught us how to pray. Mm-hmm. has taught us about to, how to depend on God and that our last uh, message was that to wait upon the Lord. That even as we wait upon the Lord, let us not despair. Let's keep having faith in Him. Yeah. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank you so much, Claire, uh, and for making time mm-hmm. uh, this morning, Willis. Uh, my parting sh- short will be from the Book of Psalms, chapter ninety-two. Verse 2, which says, It's good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning mm-hmm. and uh, in the morning and your faithfulness in the evening. Amen. So, in everything that we do, let's always remember to say thank you when good things come our way. Mm-hmm. You know, Amen. always keep a psalm in your heart that you sing to the Lord when, when He blesses you with good things. Mm-hmm. And again, be faithful in the evening. Amen. Keep a psalm in your heart that when things don't go in your way, mm. sing it to God. You know, yeah. Amen. be grateful. There's a reason for everything. You know, mm. it's Amen. a moment of waiting. Be wait actively. Wait while praying to Him. Wait while being grateful for everything. The joy comes in the morning. Amen. 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 Uh, you should have a psalm in your heart. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Willis, and also for making time this morning. Mm. Uh, that that marks it uh, for this quarter. Uh, we uh, will now be moving uh, to the next uh, the next uh, study uh, next next Sabbath, and you are welcome to to come and join us. Uh, the the highlight the highlight of the great controversy is that there will be ultimately mm-hmm. victory mm-hmm. over sin. Mm-hmm. Uh, that the saints will one day say Amen. Mm-hmm. That it is now over. Uh-huh. It is now over, mm-hmm. and I hope that it will be our experience as we have learned from the psalmist. That we will always strive. Mm-hmm. We will always strive because when I think about David, I think about the man after God's own heart. Mm-hmm. I think about striving. I think about fighting every day mm-hmm. until we get to say like Paul mm-hmm. that I have fought the good fight. Mm-hmm. I have finished the race. Mm-hmm. I have kept the faith. Amen. So that that will be our experience at the close of of Earth history. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would like to invite uh, Claire. Uh, to lead us in a word of prayer mm-hmm. and then being the last uh, the last study we'll finish with the words of grace mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. okay let's pray Father in heaven we thank you for this time we thank you for the book of Psalms oh Lord God we thank you for reminding us and we thank you for having been strengthened by the Psalms oh Lord God to endure this journey as we wait for you and oh great master I want to pray for all of the people who have been following for the lesson may you bless them oh lord god even as we go on to other activities may you please bless us oh lord god for this i pray believing and trusting in jesus name amen, amen. amen. and now for the, the, the grace, grace of, of our lord, lord jesus christ, christ and, and the, the love, love of god, god and, and the, the fellowship of the holy spirit, spirit be with us now and forevermore amen, amen. amen. amen.